at our room, room 2052. So we're on level two. So. Start off, we've got bathroom, which is lovely. There's plenty of storage space and uh, places to put all your bags and bits. Um, shower in the bath, which is adequate. Double wardrobe. And then the beds are two quite large singles pushed together. Um, plenty of plugs in the room. There's one each side of the bed. And then there's another plug set under this little desk. The only thing is you don't get a kettle. Um, so we always bring our own kettle, which is fine. And then if you've got a third person or young family, there's a sofa that turns into a bed. And then out onto the balcony, table and two chairs. So this is our view. Right at the bottom, you can just see the sea. It's a lovely quiet street. I've only had the one night here, but it was very, very quiet. And all spotlessly clean, I've got to say. So yes, very, very nice. Looks like there's been some water damage in the bathroom door. Also along by the wardrobe. Now, either they have a plumbing problem from time to time or some inconsiderate guests that leave the water running. Because on the first night we arrived, we were presented with this, which must have been an absolute nightmare for the night staff. inclusive you have a couple of self-service stations over here you have your fruit juices slush various coffees chocolates hot water cokes etc you can pour yourself as much beer as you like during the day There's a couple that you need, the bar staff.
o'clock sun. Most of the lounges are reserved, but nobody in them. It's past four now, and as you can see, the shade has completely taken that area and will slowly but surely work its way up here. Don't want a lounger, there's a lovely undercover seating area here. You can also eat your meals out here if you wish. So let's have a look what the breakfast has to offer at Costa Coletta. So Choice of cereal. To yogurt. You've got your cheeses and hams. There's ultra healthy people, there's always some salad, which is rather strange. Around here we've got the traditional bacon and sausage. <laughs> Pastries. <laughs> Eggs and omelettes, all made to order. <laughs> and this crushed bread. You know, carrots, which the Spanish seem to eat to have breakfast. Then finally you toast the end here. microwave. We've heard on some reviews that people thought the food was a little cold. We've not had any problem with cold food but it's there in case you want to come anything. Well this is certainly jolly nice. And one very important thing, spoons. More about that later. They have my usual morning breakfast item. Two pink fancy cakes. Lovely. This is the evening meal. Every night we have a selection of 
cheeses, ham, and then a salad bar. There's a selection of pasta, pizza. This is, of course, where I spend most of my day, pumping iron. Right, I must remember to insert some stock footage of some hunk pumping iron. And pretend it's me. We do have a football area. I've never actually seen it in use. As you can see, the football area. It's all taped off. We have a kids' play area. Also, a lovely little kids' club. There's a place where you can come and have a nice massage. And what is quite surprising, we also have a self service laundry area. Fantastic idea. There is a small games room, a pool table. Football. A couple of air hockeys. Fancy claw. And the internet. That looks like it's not been used for quite a few years. It's also an outdoor. And here's a list of this week's activities. The indoor bar area. This is mostly for evening entertainment. The mixing desk, stage area, and the leftover from Valentine's Day. Some of the shows bingo, karaoke, Alex, and Sergio. So, this is out to the pool area. 
by this small pool here, which no one seems to use. It is in the shade though. This is the main pool. Tiny baby pool. <laughs> An animation team do games every day, which we can all join in. Ping pong and dogs. sand so you're not going to go sunbathing but it's still worth a visit especially up there ahead it's all amongst the rocks it's where you can find dozens of barbary ground squirrels cute little fellas another visit and a nice walk of course we continue all the way along this path it takes you to man-made beach Thought we've got some food. Don't you nibble my feet, doggers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Very quick. Someone named Greta and didn't want to let them and police them. Wasting money on cures Forgot how to fix myself They say that time is free why is it so precious? Oh, I say
lounge here, seating areas outside at the front of the hotel. see where we are. So this is the room view. Only little buildings and none of them have roofs. This is our balcony. Lovely and sunny. Nice little quiet street. And then right at the bottom, if you can see it, is the sea. But, uh, very quiet. There we go. There's no kettles in the room, so you can either rent one for your stay from reception, bring your own little portable one, or pop down first thing in the morning, get yourself a cup of in your underwear. Now, uh, if you rent one, you'll need to get your own milk, because they don't provide milk. And you get a UHT one from the Super Dino, or those little cartons, they do packs of cartons. Because the milk they have is this, sweetened condensed milk. Now it's okay if you like your sugar in your tea, but this stuff is not very appealing. 